Hey guys, secure your watercolor paper, arrange your paints, brushes, water container and paper towels as we're going to start this bright and beautiful watercolor flower painting. My name is Priyanka and a warm welcome to you on my channel. I start with putting dots of slightly concentrated cobalt blue pigment for my first flower. And now using a clean wet brush to spread it to form the petals. I dip my brush in water each time to do a petal and making sure there is enough water in the brush to spread the pigment. I'm doing a 5 petal loose flower and once the initial shape of the petals is done, I again put some cobalt blue pigment over the dots and give one more layer of shading. You can give one more layer of shading as I am giving here, but that's totally optional. Now I'm introducing a second pigment that is purple to give a two-tone look to the flower. This purple I've made by mixing cobalt blue and crimson lake red in the ratios of 1 is to 3. That is 1 of cobalt blue and 3 of crimson lake red. I will do further work on the flower once the pigments have dried and meantime paint some more vibrant flowers. I am taking vermilion hue red for the second flower and loosely shaping the five petals. I am doing the work very slowly and this is one suggestion I want to give you all never to rush with your artwork and do it very patiently.
So once one layer is done, a second round of dots and now introducing gamboge hue yellow as the contrast pigment. Now repeating the shading with red. These are one of the easiest flowers to paint and you can increase or decrease the number of petals to create four or six or seven petal flowers if you wish. In the same way, I have done the third flower, but in a single pigment, bright orange. For the fourth flower, which I thought I'll show you quickly, so I've increased the speed of the video, I'm using purple as the main pigment. As I'd already mentioned, I've prepared this purple by mixing cobalt blue and crimson lake red in the ratios of 1 is to 3. I've used cobalt blue here to give a two-tone look to the flower as cobalt and purple go well together. Okay, so now that the petals of all the flowers are done and the pigments have dried, I will start with the central part of the flowers including the stamens. So I do a smaller circle with dark blue and I've mixed a hint of black in cobalt blue for that. I clean the brush and take out some pigment from it to give a feel of depth to this area. Now for the anthers, I take a little concentrated pigment in my almost dry brush and do small dots with dark cobalt. With a very light hand, I also do some lines for some added effect. Coming to the orange flower now, here I thought of doing some pen work. This is a pentonic gel pen and it smudges with water. So as an effect, I'm spreading it to give a shaded look with my brush. I'm using very, very little water here in my brush, else it will smudge a lot and the effect will become a defect. So make sure if you're doing a shading with a pen with smudges with water, take very little water in your brush and try creating fine lines with that. 
For this purple flower, I'm doing an almost similar kind of shading as I did in the orange flower. But I'm only using a dry brush to do that and not a pen. You can use any synthetic brush between size 0 and size 2 to do this work. Now coming to the finishing of the second flower, I'm doing that with a natural hair brush as I'm not giving that fine line effect to this flower. So after the main flowers, let me add some more flowers and leaves to complete the composition. I'm adding some very easy and simple flowers in Crimson Lake Red and doing the leaves and the stems in Sap Cream. Adding some lavender inspired cobalt blue flowers.
and some simple leaves here. So guys, this is one of the simplest of compositions with these flowers. You can create your own and I'm sure they will come out very bright and beautiful. I hope you liked this simple tutorial. In case you like it, please hit the like button, share the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in yet another exciting tutorial. Till then, stay safe, take care, be happy, goodbye.